Thank you to Dr. Strangelove61 for their generous donation as a YouTube member. There is a specter haunting Europe. The specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered into a holy alliance to hunt down and exercise the specter. Pope and Tsar. Metternich. Metternich. And Guizot. Guizot? Guizot? I don't fucking know these words. French radicals and German police spies. Where is the party in opposition that has not been denounced as communistic by its opponents in power? Where the opposition that has not hurled back the branding reproach of communism against the more advanced opposition parties, as well as against its reactionary adversaries? Two things result from this fact. One, communism is already acknowledged by all European powers to be itself a power. Two, it is high time that communists should openly, in the face of the whole world, publish their views, their aims, their tendencies, and meet this nursery tale of the specter of communism with a manifesto of the party itself. To this end, communists of various nationalities have assembled in London and sketched the following manifesto to be published in the English, French, German, Italian, Flemish, and Danish languages. That is the first two pages of the Communist Manifesto. Once you get past the 500 fucking preludes and the, all the... There's a lot to this book. There's like... Like, maybe a third of this book is actually the Communist Manifesto, but hey, it was fucking six dollars at Barnes & Noble. Alright, so why the fuck am I reading the goddamn Communist Manifesto written by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels? You don't hear that name very often. <laughs> To make a long story short, for those who do not feel like watching the whole thing, it's essentially to actually know what the fuck is going on with this book. I believe very strongly that to actually understand a person's argument, you need to become educated in it. You need to know why they think what they think and not just go with a label, go with a headline. You need to actually read an article as Wheezy Weezer famously sang, a headline's not an article. And in America, there are few things more demonized than the dreaded communist. Now, I know damn well that reading this book that was written in 1849 is not going to educate me in the modern day interpretations and practices of the communist political ideology. However, I do think it is important to understand the origins of it, the origins, the origins of the political movement as consolidated, I guess, is the word in this manifesto. Now, as I have pointed out to many people who feel the need to discredit the entire Black Lives Matter movement by attacking one or two of the people who were near to the fucking origin of the movement and claim that they themselves represent the entire thing, the origin of a political ideology or a movement or anything like that is not representative of the whole, nor is it representative of the movement at all past a certain point of time. Things change over time, and that's okay. It's understandable. It's what happens. So yeah, reading a book from 1848 or what? Yeah, 1840 fucking eight ain't gonna teach me about any sort of modern interpretations, any sort of practical uh, uh, applications. But in a country where pretty much anything that isn't deemed as uber patriotic or deemed as capitalistic propaganda is just you just throw the word communist at it and anytime anyone says that communism has any sort of uh fucking merit to it as a concept you get various countries thrown in your face you don't get like moments you don't get wars you don't get anything like that you get countries. The USSR, how'd that go? Oh, if you like communism so much, why don't you move to Venezuela? Which makes no fucking sense in either way. Uh, and then, of course, you get China, who's the biggest modern-day uh, proponent of it. Communism has a big fucking reputation in America as being the catch-all way to discredit anyone and anything that isn't deemed properly American. And I... I do not see the merit in that kind of argument. If you don't agree with the merits of the ideology of communism, that's totally fine and understandable, but what the fuck are they? 
anti-American? Well, no, that's not what the fuck it is. <laughs> if you equate America with capitalism, then yeah, you might have a thing there. But America, it doesn't equal capitalism. America equals a, repub a democratic republic. More so a republic than a democracy, but that's oh, kind of a murky thing because up until that point, there really wasn't many examples of what the fuck America was, and we've been trying to figure it out ever since. We still don't really know. I myself am not a communist. Uh, I don't know enough about it to be able to accurately ascribe that belief to me, but I do know that I am more left-leaning than the average person. I was a very big supporter of Bernie Sanders, and I think that uh, there is a lot of merit to what he was saying, so at the very least, democratic socialist, but, uh, you know, it's all about going around to the things you don't know, figuring out what you do and don't understand about it, trying to become educated in it, because who knows, there might be something around a corner in a book that you haven't read yet, like maybe this one, that might represent something that you actually agree with, but you just haven't read yet. So I'm gonna read the Communist Manifesto, including its 500 fucking prefaces. <laughs> There's so many, and in the back they have more prefaces for the other English, uh, for the other English. God damn it! I, I there's still a lot of American in me. A lot of the other language prefaces and then there's various like scholars and stuff that have gone through it and there, there's a lot in there that isn't the actual communist manifesto but i will be reading all of it it's a pretty short book but knowing me and my attention span it'll probably take me a while to actually get through it all but i'll let you know what i my conclusions are at the end of it because um you know when you're i, I basically grew up in a fucking hole i didn't see a lot of different movies i haven't read a lot of different books uh, not by choice, just by sheer lack of exposure. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm going to be trying a lot of things for the first time and letting you know what I think about them. And uh, I think that's going to be fun and interesting. So, there you go. I'm going to be reading the Communist Manifesto for the first time and letting you know what I think about it after I do it. <laughs> There's no, like, schedule to it because... There are a lot of things that I'm bad at, and scheduling is one of them. <laughs> if you've read it before, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Uh, I don't think you can spoil this book. Uh, it's, it's a non-fiction, so there's, uh, <laughs> there's not really spoilers in terms of plot that you can go into it. But uh, if you've read The Communist Manifesto before, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't read it, tell me why. Is it because of the propagandistic idea that everything communistic is problematic or is it just because you've never thought to do it like it's possible i've had the opportunity to buy a six dollar book for a little while now but i just never thought to do it brie on the other hand she was the kind of person that would find out which books were banned from her school's library and read them because she wanted to know what the fuck was going on with them. Why were they banned? What is, what are they hiding? What is going on with it? She wanted to understand it. And that included the Communist Manifesto. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to find out what the fuck's in there. I'm going to stop talking about it and actually read it now. So uh, yeah, let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below, and subscribe if you want to find out what I think about the Communist Manifesto once I fucking finish reading it. I, this is not at all anything I've ever done before, but fuck it. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye everyone.